Good morning, you guys. I just wanted to jump on here and uh, kind of do an introduction uh, video to the teaching um, that we will start uploading very soon. Um, it's called Tried and True, A Changed Heart Discipleship Course. Um, my name is Sherry Garcy, and I'm with Saving Grace Ministry. We do ladies' discipleship. Our motto is, and it's on the front of our binder here, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey all I have commanded you. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. This is our heart uh, is for others to come to Christ, but not only to get saved and give their heart to the Lord, but to actually grow in the word um, and in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Um, so I'll begin uploading these videos. There's probably going to be three. It's a three-part series because there is a lot of material. And I do have um, the notes in the packet that goes with it. If you guys will send me uh just send me a quick email. My email is Garcy, G-A-R-S-E-E, -E, 1974 at gmail.com. Just send me a, a quick email and uh, let me know who you are and I can attach uh, these notes so that you can follow along or, you know, however you want to do it. But but we do have the notes. And um, so today is just going to be inter an introduction. You know, in Philippians chapter 2, um, Paul talks about working out your own salvation. You know, th there is a process of walking it out. You know, we give our life to the Lord. And yes, you know, we give our life to Him. And then the Holy Spirit comes in and, and, and makes His home in us. Absolutely. There is a process of walking this thing out. Uh, it, it has been for me. Um, things that uh, the Lord has shown me over the years about my own heart. Uh, and he also reminds me that uh, Hebrews 4.12 says that the word is living and is active. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword. And I believe that that sword is double-edged because that word must penetrate my heart first before I can make it real to anybody else. So... Any of the teachings that I'll be posting <clears throat> is not just from reading the scriptures and, and getting them down into my heart and really trying to get a grasp of what the Lord is trying to say. It has been experience that the Lord, <clears throat> excuse me, that the Lord has taken me through so that I not only have experience in what I'm saying, but I have the word to back it up experience and the word they go hand in hand so um it took me about six months i knew that 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 i was supposed to write this but i didn't know when it would come about i never do know because there there's a process that god takes me through to make sure that i understand and i go through it myself before i sat, try to sit here and tell you anything you know i have to search my own heart and see if there's anything in there that I haven't let God deal with. Or let him reveal to me something in there that I had no idea was in there. This has been one of the hardest teachings that I've ever had to go through. But praise God. You know, because um, when you tell other people, they are able to understand that you not are only speaking out of head knowledge you're speaking out of heart knowledge you're speaking out of hey i've been through this um this is how god helped me and this hopefully will help you so if you want to give me your um you know just send me an email i can attach the documents it's a good bit of information but today i just wanted to introduce myself first and foremost i'm a servant of the most high god and I am a lover of Jesus Christ. That is who I am. I do not profess to know everything. I'm still in my own process of walking this thing out. 
uh, but I do feel led to share what I have learned. Um, <clears throat> I'm still learning every day. I have two mentors, and I learn from them every day. Correction is a good thing. Godly leadership and spiritual guidance is much needed in the body of Christ. Like, we can't be a lone ranger trying to do this stuff on our own. So, a tried and true, a changed heart addresses the things that, that may be in our heart that we either know are there or don't know that are there. But God helps us walk through this process of uprooting those things that would get in the way of us having a relationship with Him. It's about relationship, not religion. Okay? Uh, it's about knowing the Lord for yourself. We cannot make disciples of all nations if we are not allowing ourselves to be discipled. So that's kind of our heart for this class. So I just wanted to, to um, read to you this morning our mission. You know, when, when I do these teachings, we have missions for each class. And the mission for this class is, I took I took this from Ezekiel 36, 26. It says, I will give you a new heart and a right spirit. And that's just what God does when we give our hearts to him. However, there is a process of walking this out. This course is designed to address issues of the heart so that we can move forward in our spiritual walk with Christ. First, we must examine our hearts. Secondly, we must confess those things to our Father. And thirdly, we must repent of those things and ask the Lord to do the work He said He would do with our cooperation. In this course, we will get honest with ourselves and deal with the sins of our hearts, knowingly or unknowingly. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. And we all have room for growth and improvement. This course is a safe place to where we can freely talk about and deal with issues that we can address and truly have a change of heart. You know, it's the work of the Holy Spirit in us that changes us. You know, the fruits of the Spirit, the Bible talks about that in Galatians. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, long-suffering, <laughs> um, and self-control. Um, the opposite of that would be anger, hate, jealousy, the things of the flesh. So we battle these things all the time. No matter how long we've walked with the Lord, we all battle the flesh. And so this course, um, I took it I, after the Holy Spirit gave me the teaching. I went back through it and God started to reveal things to me again about things in my heart. And I had to get on my face and say, God, please uproot these things from my heart, God. I, I confess this. I confess that. I need you to remove it. I need you to uproot it and then seal it with the blood of Jesus. And God, thank you for making this teaching real to me. And, and God, let it fall on good soil. Let it fall on good soil. We'll, we'll talk about the four soils also later on in our teachings. But this is merely the introduction to the heart class. I've taught this um, at Naomi's home. Uh, it's a um, rehabilitation home for women uh, in Alabama. I've taught it there. I've taught it individually. Um, but I felt like the Lord was leading me to put these things, the teachings on here. Um, our ladies at Calumet, uh, where I'm at now, um, w they review these videos. And of course, you know, they, they know me because I'm there most of the time with them. But instead of going from place to place like I was doing classes, the Lord led me to put them on YouTube so that anybody... Anybody can watch. Anybody can. And I hope you do get something out of this. I really do hope that you do. That's my, my heart is for you to grow. I still need to grow. I still have issues that I'm working on. The Lord's still working on me. Honey, we will not be perfect in any kind of way. Okay? But we can do better. And if we don't know what's in our heart, then 
we don't we can't deal with it um, a lot of people suffer from addiction so to you know let's let's just talk about that uh, that's what we do at saving grace ministry we help people recover um, part of recovery is learning why am I doing why am I high, getting high all the time well there's a root cause down there and we need to get to that and there's a root cause of say why we get angry about things uh, maybe rage and violence. Okay, what's underneath there? Let's get to that. Why am I jealous of, or why am I comparing myself? You know, like why? There's a root cause under there. And this class helps you get to the root of that. So I love you guys. Uh, I've got to head out of here and go to work, but I will be uploading part one, hopefully by the end of the day. And uh, once again, my email is Garcy, G-A-R-S-E-E, -E, 1974, at gmail.com. If you want to send me a quick email, and that way I know who you are, and I can forward you the the packet information if you want it. But um, I'm just so, you know, I'm just so happy. It doesn't matter if this, this teaching reaches one person. That's, that's great. If we can reach one person, that's great. Uh, we're not on here to make a name for ourselves. Absolutely not. We just want Jesus to be glorified and people to grow in the knowledge of Jesus and their identity in Christ. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day and God bless.